and we want to welcome to the show General Tirso <laughs> and my dear sister Lynn. Welcome to the 700 yeah. Club. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Alam nyo, this is a good opportunity. I know bihira kayo magbigay ng interview, especially about this topic. And mm -hmm. so we're so blessed to have you here. No? Uh, nung, derechahin ko na yeah. ha. Nung una nyong malaman yung kondisyon ni TJ, ano yung naramdaman ninyo at naging reaksyon ninyo? I asked the doctor, pwede po, doc, kayo na ang magsabi. Because mm -hmm. hindi ko kakayanin. Um, so nung sinabi ng doctor sa anak ko, no, um, you know what, yung bosses ni TJ, oh, yung sinabi ng doctor na you have lymphoma, um, you have to undergo chemo, oh, oh. So, pero kami, nasa likod lang ako, umiiyak na ako. I, I couldn't show my son na umiiyak ako because gusto ko pag nakita niya ako, strong ako, na kaya natin to. So, nung pagharap ko sa kanya, teacher okay? Sabi niya, yeah, I'm okay. Sabi ng doctor sa kanya, oh good, you're okay. So, uh, sabi niya, so, anong gagawin natin? Sabi ng doctor, magkikimo ka nga, ganon. And then, you know what he said? I will fight. Mm -hmm. And I know, I will win this battle. Some people pray every day. But when things like this happen, you pray. I mean, there's a difference when you just, parang you're going through the motions. And when you lift up something to the Lord na, Teka muna, hindi joke ito. This is, this is life and death. So, parang na, na, ang focus mo, mas talagang napaka-intense, napaka-detalye ng focus mo. Nung, Lord, save mo itong anak ko. I mean, the, well, bottom line is yun. Eh. Lord, save my son. Tirso, nagalit ka ba sa Diyos? Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, yung galit ko was, because nakita ko yung paghihirap ng anak ko eh. Mm. Anong sabi ko sa kanya? I thought you were a merciful God. Why? Why did you make my son suffer six and a half months? And then, you were going to take him away din pala. Sabi ko, sana. Sana hindi mo na lang siya pinaghihirap. I mean, like it was more... It was more the suffering in me that pained me and uh, made me question him. Because now, the children of our children, TJ, there's a little bit of pain. A little bit. On a scale of 1 to 10, ano? a 4, pa. sometimes 5. But if he was able to get out of it, he would move, he would turn to his side. Niya. Tapos, sabi na siya, may makikita namin dito. You okay? Hindi yung masakit lang ng konti. Nangangalay. Nang, nangangalay. But he never really yung, yung mag-groan in pain or anything. Gaganon lang siya. Masakit lang ng konti pa. Tsaka, or, ngangawit lang ako. And then he would ask the nurse. Uh, pwede paki, ano, paki massage ma, lang yung leg ko. Ma, massage mo ako sa kanya. Hmm. Ma, massage mo naman yung pa ako. Ganun. Tapos, uh, Iibahin niya yung topic, like, matignan mo yung toast ko, pareho ng toast mo, you know, tapos tatawa siya. I mean, like, you know, Such I think he could also feel na nahihirapan kami. And he was trying to make light of the situation, mm -hmm. in a way. Yeah. So, nagtampo talaga ako sa Diyos. I mean, well, now I, I go back and think about it. Hindi naman yung talagang galit. Nagtampo lang ako because mm -hmm. bakit niya pinahirapan? Mm -hmm. Yun yung question ko sa kanya. Mm -hmm. That's why there was, there was a point Galit nga siya sa akin. And she, she rebuked me. Dahil sabi ko, maybe when the time comes, when I have to go, sabi ko, the Lord will grant me audience. I have a bone to pick with Him. Dahil sabi ko, tatanigin ko talaga. Bakit? I mean, I need... I, I, I knew the answer, but parang I, I need to hear it from you. Parang ganun bang... I need to hear the answer from you mm -hmm. directly. Why? Mm -hmm. Although, of course, I, we both yeah. know that he was just loaned to us. He was uh, a responsibility that was given by the Lord to us. And I guess his mission here on earth was done. So, mm -hmm. Lord, 
kesa mapulyut ka dyan sa mundo and you have to suffer, come home. I bring you home. But Kata, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll add to that, ano? Because I told him, sabi ko, um, when he started questioning God, sabi ko, I'm sorry, no, I, I should be submissive. Mm. But parang feeling ko, I should tell him also na, I told him, stop. Because you know what, sabi ko, um, we are blessed. We are blessed because the Lord gave us six and a half months to be with DJ. Mm -hmm. Pwedeng sa isang iglap lang. Wala na siya. Wala ni anak ko eh. Maraming pwedeng mga insidente dyan, na pwedeng nawala yung anak ko. But this, this one, parang alam mong planado, um, planado, I mean, nasa ano ng Panginoon yon? Like, una-una, he worked for a hospital na kailangan siya makonfine, di ba? So, yung doctors, ang daming doctors, pero blessed kami because sa dami nila, you know, um, yeah, kilala, kilala siya kilala lahat. Siya lahat. Doctor, eh. And ang kind ng pag, paggagamot nila kay TJ is more of tender love and care. Mm -hmm. So, for that, blessing okay. sa amin yon. And then, six and a half months na as a mother, you know, um, of course, yung relationship namin as mother and son, it wasn't perfect. Or maybe father and son, mm -hmm. not perfect. Nobody's perfect. Yes. Only God. Yes. But, um, nakapag-usap kami ng matagal. Like, um, sabi niya, um, ma, sabi niya, you know what? Sabi niya, yung iba, this one really touched me. Sabi niya, you know what? Yung iba, ayaw nilang matawag na mama's boy. Mm -hmm. Pero ako, gusto niya. Yes, I am a mama's boy. Sabi niya. Mukha 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 pa kayo. <laughs> yeah. Proud nga daw siya. Proud niya, I'm proud to be a mama's boy. Mm -hmm. Sabi niya, um, and alam mo, mahal na mahal kita. Mm -hmm. So doon, talagang sabi ko, thank you Lord. Mm -hmm. And um, uh, we, we were given the chance to sing mm -hmm. together, pray. Nagdi-devotional kami. Um, uh, minsan kinantahan, kumakanta ako, nagigitara ako na wala ako sa tono, he was giggling, and yung tawa namin, yung talagang ha-ha-ha, yung ang saya. You know, tapos nakahiga siya sa bed, kukunin niya yung kamay ko, sasayaw kami. So, happy moments. Although may mga, uh, yung, like yung kailangan, may mga procedure siya dadaanan, na-operahan siya, uh, but, you know, after nun, uh, makikita mo yung grace ni God sa amin that um, uh, hindi siya yung hindi siya mahirap alagaan. Mm -hmm. Sobra. Sobra. Um, blessing siya sa amin. Mm -hmm. We have a hard time letting go of people we love. Especially kagaya nung kay TJ na kanya every time accepted na namin pero every time babalik sa amin yung hindi ko na siya makikita talaga. Mm -hmm. Di ba yung kanya nga kami ngayon ang ano namin ngayon is looking at pictures. Yeah. Uh, yung last days niya, sabi ko, okay Lord, I surrender. I surrender everything to you. Pero maya sa sasabihin ko, hindi Lord eh. <laughs> hindi eh. Maya na naman, surrender. Eto na yung, bago ko i-ano dun sa last moments, no? Um, Saturday, TJ passed away. TJ went to heaven Wednesday. Um, Saturday, sabi niya sa akin, um, Ma, sabi niya, uh, no, uh, Thursday, yung Saturday kanya yon Yung Thursday, Friday, ganun, sabi niya sa akin, Ma, mali ka, may sasabihin ako sa'yo. Sabi niya, alam mo, nakita ko si God. Hindi ko alam kung dream or vision, pero nakita ko si God, sabi niya. Um, and uh, ginanito niya yung kamay niya sa akin. Tapos, in-embrace niya ako. So, sabi ko, oh, sabi ko, that means, you know, the Lord said, He will take care of you. Everything's going to be okay. No? And then, um, sabi ko, sa sarili ko, yes, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. And I told him also, you thank the Lord because everything's going to be okay. But nung, when he was going already, uh, The day itself, no, Wednesday. Sabi ko sa kanya, sabi ko sa nurse niya. I called the nurse because I slept sa bahay. Sabi ko sa nurse, can I talk to TJ, ma'am? Tulog po. Sabi ko hindi. Lagay mo yung telepono sa tenga niya. 
because ang ano niya katatulog na lang siya ng tulog. Lagay mo sa tenga niya and um, magpe-pray kami. So sabi ko, Tij, sabi ko, um, ay, okay, sabi ko, Tij, magbibase lang ako, maliligo ako, but I will be there right away. But before that, sabi ko, pray tayo. So we prayed, the usual ano namin, thing in the morning, we pray. And then, uh, you know, hindi, hindi siya nagre-respond. So, ang huling, nari, sabi, ang huling narinig ko sa kanya, <sighs> huminga siya ng malalim, dalawang malalim. Pero sabi ko, hindi, hindi si TJ yon. But after a while, binaba ko yung phone, but after a while, the nurse told me, Ma'am, uh, punta na po kayo sa ospital. Uh, nahirapan po si Sir TJ huminga. Sabi ko, bakit? Sabi niya, na-excite yata nung may rinig ang boses mo or um, uh, or ano yun? Something. Basta, uh, basta nahirapan siya huminga. Sabi ko, sige, sige. So anyway, punta na kami sa hospital. Lahat kami, lima kami. And I thank and praise God also for that na kumpleto kaming lahat na sa bahay. Sabi ko, Tij, if you see the light, sabi ko, go to the light. Go to the light because Jesus is there waiting for you. Don't look back. And then, sabi ko, pero Tij, sabi ko, before you go, I would like to clap my hands. Sabi ko, I would like to congratulate you for you fought a good fight. You promised me you would fight. And I thank you for that, for fighting. But the Lord wants you now. He wants you there. And the Lord and the angels are welcoming my son. And I am grateful. I'm happy for that. I'm happy about that. I'm happy for my son. Before we continue with this interview, I'd just like to grab this opportunity you know, for you, Tentirso, to minister to our audience right now who, who may be up to now, you know, hindi nila maintindihan bakit, bakit ganito, why God decides to heal somebody, but God also decides to take away somebody. And they are grieving right now. So may I ask you to just lead in prayer and minister to our audience right now. Oh, thank you. Shall we pray? Okay. Thank you. Okay. Um, maraming salamat po, Panginoon, sa opportunity na ito na ipinagkalog mo sa amin um, to share uh, yung pinagdaanan namin. But this is not about TJ, it's not about me, it's not mm -hmm. about my husband, Tirso, but it's all about you, Lord, glorifying you. Mm -hmm. um, yun ang laging ano ng anak ko, lagi niya sinasabi, I want to glorify God. So here we are, Lord, um, praising you and thanking you uh, sa pagmamahal na ipinagkaloob mo, hindi lang po sa amen, kundi higit sa lahat, sa pagmamahal mo sa aming anak. And I pray, Lord, for the mothers and yung mga magulang na higit sa lahat nga yung mga magulang na who's going through trial and suffering na uh, pinagdaanan namin. I pray, Lord, for uh, strength for them. Uh, comfort, and that at this time, Lord, yung, yung iyong salita ang siyang panghawakan nila, Panginoon. Um, you are the greatest of all, Lord. Walang ibang um, pwedeng panghawakan kami kundi ikaw lang po, Panginoon. Wala kaming pwedeng kapitan kundi ikaw lang po, Panginoon. Tulad ng ginawa namin, ginawa ko nung panahon na um, uh, TJ was confined in the hospital. Um, thank you for your promises, Father God. And um, I pray for comfort, yung mga nawala ng anak, uh, tulad ko. Every day is a struggle, but with you, Lord, um, I know nothing is impossible with you. Um, alam kong hindi mo kami pababayaan, Lord. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. Amen, amen. Thank you for that prayer, Lynn. Nabanggit mo na ang pinanghahawakan nyo ay ang salita ng yes. Diyos. At oh, narito yes. sa harapan natin. <laughs> yes. Ang napakalaki mong Biblia. <laughs> yes. Um, I would just like to share yung mga um, magulang. Well, yung, yeah, yung mm. mga, not only magulang, pero yung lalo na yung mga may mga pasyente sa hospital. Mm -hmm. Eh, humingi, humingi ho kayo ng pahintulot sa hospital. At ito po ang ginawa ko nung nasa hospital si TJ. I posted all these verses. Mm -hmm. Yan, ask. Yan. Um, ask, uh, seek. Seek and you shall find. And ito, um, Do not be afraid. Don't be afraid. 
Don't be discouraged. Uh, for I am with, for I, I am with you. Don't be discouraged. For I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you. I will hold, hold you, you up with my victorious, victorious right, right hand. hand. Um, ishare ko lang to, uh, because my son is il, is already in the hands of God. So kaya na victorious right hand. Amen. Yon ang talagang pinanghawakan ko rin. Amen. Amen. Okay. And, um, ito, hindi ko na isa-isahin, ano, sure, kata. Sure. But ang pinaka-favorite namin ni TJ ay, ito, ito yon Lamentations, 322-23. Mm -hmm. The steadfast love of the Lord never ceases. His Where mercies never come to an yeah. end. Yeah, They are every new morning. every morning. Great is your faithfulness. I cry every time madaan ang kuto. Because every day, ito kinakanta namin ng anak ko. Mm -hmm. And, um, but I claim it, that every morning um, is already a blessing na magising ako sa mundong ito. And I pray that the Lord will allow me to to share mm -hmm. whatever um, whatever we went through. Mm -hmm. Because yun ang pangarap ng anak ko nung sinabi niya noon, Lord, heal me mm -hmm. and I will give glory to you. And I told him, okay, Tij, I will share also my testimony as a mother, um, as your mother who went through the trial. And this time, I'm going to do it for my son um, para maging inspirasyon sa mga nanay. And as you do this, you're honoring uh, the life and not just the memory of your son, but his life actually. No, and I believe that dahil sa nangyari at dahil sa kwento ninyo, Maraming ang nai-inspire, no? Maraming natutulungan, maraming uh, nahihimas-masan sa kanilang pagkalungkot at marami ring nakakaunawa. Bagamat ang hirap unawain ko minsan, no? Ang sovereignty ng ating Panginoong Diyos, ang kanyang mercy at ang kanyang grace sa buhay ni TJ na nabuhay ng maayos dahil kayo ang kanyang mga magulang. And I heard na may kahilingan si TJ sa inyo. Mm -hmm. Oo. Ano ba itong uh, kahilingan ni TJ bukod sa inyong uh, bagong ministry ngayon ano, oh, doon yeah. sa mga nagdadalamhating mga magulang? Mm -hmm. Lika, let's get in touch with the people of Make-A-Wish at yung kanyang TJ si Spike for Hope Foundation. Kunin natin itong mga bata. And then sabi ko, sige, we'll try to talk to the people of EK. And I'd like to thank Mr. Mamon once again. Sabi ko, Without batting an eyelash yung sinabi ko sa kanya, alam mo, dream nung anak ko. Ay, ah, walang problema, sabi mm -hmm. niya. Sabi niya, sige, gather the kids together, bring them here, mm -hmm. I'll take care of things here on our side, sabi niya. So, nung ginawa namin yun, nung uh, 23? Yeah, Feb. Mm -hmm. TJ's share a love. TJ's share a love. So, we were able to bring about 15 of them mm -hmm. sa EK and... Sabi ko, priceless yung mm -hmm. experience, yung makita mo yung itsura ng mga bata. Mm -hmm. And of course, all the while, while we were uh, spending the whole day sa DK, we were thinking, ah, sabi ko, sana nakikita niya ito ngayon. Ano? Mm -hmm. I hope, sabi ko, uh, if he can get a glimpse of one of his dreams na, na fulfill, mm -hmm. Ano talaga kami? Ang saya nung, nung day na yun, ang saya. Tsaka kahit kami, parang feeling namin. One point. Mm -hmm. uh, one point for you. From us. <coughs> Even though hindi mo nagawa, you were not here. To the help of many people and kami ni Mama mo. Ginawa namin para mm -hmm. sa iyo. Mm -hmm. And for the kids. And yun nga, sabi ko, Maybe in the future, he still had a lot of other dreams and we'll try kung kaya namin. No promises, but we'll try our best to fulfill his dreams. And I think, and I think this, his dreams were actually for you. Kasi nung ginawa ninyo ito, kayo ang naligayahan at nagang panaligan, hindi ba? Actually, actually. At alam po... Kaming na-fulfill. Oo nga. And alam po ninyo, sinamahan po ng 700 Club Team, si Natirso at si Lynn sa Enchanted Kingdom. At ito po ang naganap doon. Panoorin po natin ito. Naging viral sa social media ang video na ito. Isang celebratory dance number na isang alay pa sa salamat ng pamilya at mga kaibigan ni Natirso Cruz III para sa Panginoong Diyos, na isa sa mga wish ng anak na si TJ noong siya'y nabubuhay pa. Talaga sinabi niya kay mama niya noon, Ma, paggaling ko, 
gusto ko ituturo ko to sa mga bata sa church and then isaseo namin ito sa niya. Kaya naman isa sa mga highlight ng TJ Share a Love event ang isang flash mob na ginawa nila mismo sa food court ng Enchanted Kingdom. Sinayaw nila ito sa saliw ng paboritong awiting papuri ni TJ. When somebody goes home to heaven, there is celebration eh. And so, we felt sad because he left. But we were happy because we knew that as he was entering heaven, there was a celebration that was going on because he was promised eternal life by the Lord and he accepted the Lord in his heart. Bukod sa dance number, isa rin sa mga wish ni TJ noong siya'y nabubuhay pa, ang mapasaya niya ang mga batang may sakit na kanya rin tinutulungan. Kaya laking tuwa nila nang maisakatuparan ang wish na ito. Pinangunahan ito ng amang si Tirso at asawang si Lynn, kasama ang mga anak, kamag-anak at mga kaibigan. Dida ng araw na yon, ang labing limang bata mula sa Make-A-Wish Foundation, kasama ang kanilang mga magulang at mga volunteers. Sama-sama silang naging bahagi ng saya at excitement ng once-in-a-lifetime experience na ito. Isa sa mga batang yan si Asha, na tatlong taong ring naging kaibigan ni TJ. Happy ako. Happy ka. Sobrang nag-enjoy ka. Apo. Alam naman natin na hindi ganun minsan. Kadali makapunta dito dahil malayo and... Financially, ano, dapat, ayun, very grateful kami na na-invite, na na-invite si Asha. Naging daan din ang okasyon upang maipagdasal ng kapatid ni TJ na si Bodie Cruz, ang bawat bata at ang kanilang mga magulang. Naibahagi rin niya ang hinggil sa mabuting balita ng Diyos. Napatunayan ng pamilya Cruz na maaari nating ibahagi ang ating pagmamahal sa ating kapwa sa anumang paraan. Dahil meron tayong Diyos na patuloy na nagbubuhos ng pag-ibig at nagsisilbi nating kalakasan. Sabi ko, if he was to be allowed by the Lord to take a pic down here, I'm sure he would be wearing a smile and he would be very, very happy na na-fulfill itong dream niyang ito. And kahit kami kanina, we were very, very happy dahil nakita namin sa mukha ng mga bata yung joy. Na somehow, in his small dream, his small way, TJ, He was able to bring happiness and joy to the kids. I thank you very much, Tirso Cruz III. Thank you, thank you. And Erlinda in Charles D. Cruz. That's what you call TJ to me, Erlinda. Thank you so much. God bless you and God give you peace all the days of your life. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We'll be back to the 700 Club Asia. Every big thing starts from something small, and the big impact you are seeing traces back to your simple gesture of giving. Never underestimate the impact you have on someone else's life. For your donation of 500 pesos, this gift will be yours. Make a difference where it matters. Join us in our mission. Partner with us.